shout out to all the people that don't have traffic on their GPS. There's never a reason to be stuck in nothing like that, dog. You ride down the road, turn traffic on on your GPS or turn on Google Maps or something, dog. You out there stuck in a four hour delay for no freaking reason. Because your ass ain't a real driver, you just a motherfucker going with the flow. Look at that. Unless somebody crashed directly in front of you, there's never a reason to be stuck in that, dog. Never. Never, ever, 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 ever. Turn traffic on. You heard? thing I used to hate. Take the next right onto Lemons Lane, then turn left onto South Carolina 105 North. You know what I used to hate, dog? Way back in the day, right? As I tell y'all, I got my authority. Uh, 2007 and 8. And, uh, you know, there was periodic times in the beginning where for whatever reason, I would have to jump on, you know, jump in one of the trucks and do some OTR stuff, right? You know, this is way early in the game. This is before I was driving, for real, for real. This is like, you know, I told you, I done had idiot drivers that for whatever reason, I had to fire. I had an idiot driver get locked up in freaking... Pennsylvania, I had one get messed up in Indiana or whatever, so there's been times where I done had to fly places and pick up one of my trucks or whatever, right? And then there was times where, you know, I physically in the beginning might have had to drive, take a load from uh, North Carolina up to Illinois or whatever, right? But one thing that never failed, that I hated, any time I ever had to spend a night in a truck, right? I would pull up at a freaking rest area. I would pull up at a freaking truck stop. Pull over to, you know, go to, you know, take a shower, go to sleep, whatever, whatever. It never fails that in the middle of me trying to take a break, uh, you know, getting some sleep, I will wake up because I smell something, right? Never failed. It don't matter where I'm at, yo. I could have been in, <laughs> in the South somewhere. I could have been in the Midwest somewhere. Never fails. I will wake up and it'll be some punk ass animal hauler that pulled up beside me or pulled up in my vicinity. And I, that shit used to drive me insane. I used to think I had a, a sign on the back of my trailer that said animal haulers park here or something, man. And that shit is so like inconvenient and them clowns don't care. Like them things stink, yo. Like I don't know if you ever been in the vicinity of a freaking animal hauler hauling whatever the hell they got in there, cattle, pigs, whatever. Them, them things stink, yo. And that shit just used to bother my mind. I called my wife. Because mind you, them times that I don't have to sleep in the truck, it's not like I was the dude that was out for a week or two weeks or none of that. It'd be some temporary mess where I might have to run up to somewhere and then turn around and run back right back. And back in those days, it was paper logs. So for the most part, you know, I used to run it and gun it. You understand? I won't take a 10-hour breaks and all that. But I ain't a robot. So the times that I would pull over to go to sleep, it would, uh, you know, it never fails. I would wake up because some clown parked near me with a freaking animal haul and it would just smell so bad, dog. I would wake up at that point and bounce no matter what. I don't care if I was only sleep 30 minutes. But like, all right, man, break is over. I think that's God telling me time to roll out. But every time I see an animal hauler, I think about that, man. It's like, 
you know, I, I, I get it, man. I guess them dudes get nose blind to the fact that, you know, what they ride. Just like dudes that, you know, haul trash, you know, in your city. The, the garbage man, you understand? He probably don't smell that shit no more because he do it every day. And that's probably how these freaking uh, animal haulers are. But those things are disgusting. And every time I see them, I think about it. Not to mention, I hate when I'm just fueling up at a truck stop. <laughs> Freaking animal hall is there. He stink up the whole block. Come on, man. Don't you hate when the police do that, boy? That happened to me before. As a matter of fact, I was on the same highway a couple years ago. I was further down, 85, and freaking. I was in like uh, Duncan, South Carolina, somewhere. got the situation where it's either time to put the cones down or pick the cones up, right? And I'm the unlucky dude that the cop decides to get in front of and just stop and turn his lights on. <laughs> and I'm stuck behind the cop for 30 minutes, 45 minutes, while these people come out there and put cones down one by one. Oh, that drove me insane, yo. I hate road construction, man. You know, I know I'm ranting about that a lot. But one of the worst parts of trucking for me is freaking road construction. For real, for real. And then I hate the most is like right here in South Carolina, they have it where in that road construction, big ass signs say all trucks in the left lane and the speed limit is 55, right? Now back there, it's freaking concrete barriers on both sides. It's two lane road. And so you mess around, you end up behind a truck that's a square, right? Because the construction zone is like 25 miles or something like that. Concrete barriers on both sides. It might be an exit every five miles or something like that. So you get goofballs that box you in on the left side because all trucks are supposed to be in the left lane and they literally doing 54, 55 miles an hour. And I absolutely hate it, dog. And sometimes you end up in a situation where it's a car on your right side so you can't even try to pass this dude if you want to because you boxed in. And my question is always this, dog. Yeah, I get it. Speed limit is 55. Yeah, I get it. All trucks left lane. But my man, where you think the cop is at? You in a damn semi truck. Where you think the cop at, dog? The cop is not out here waiting to catch you speeding so he can pull you over because there's nowhere for him to pull you over. It's literally the last 25 miles of South Carolina, you know, going north or whatever until you're, you're in North Carolina at that point. So you think the cops gonna follow your ass for 25 miles? Or even if I, right, there's a freaking exit every five miles. So it's a cop, there's nowhere for them to hide because there's a concrete barrier on both sides. So the cop gonna get behind a bunch of trucks and just follow y'all for five miles and then randomly pull y'all over? I don't get it. That's why if I'm ever in the front of the line, the freaking construction zone, I don't give a shit what the speed limit is. I'm doing 75, <laughs> gone. Because there's no cop out here trying to pull you over, fam. And I hate y'all guys that's out here doing freaking in the left lane doing 54 miles an hour because the speed limit sign say 55 and it's double fines and you scared. If you scared, stay your ass in the house. So I tell you all the time, man, I can't even drive as much as I used to because I got road rage. I'm like over it, yo. I'm over speed limits. I'm over all of that. You heard?